Alright guys, welcome back. Uh, today, I want to make a more in-depth uh, video showing the plugin that I use the most for UI design. So hopefully this video can be helpful. Also, if you guys like tutorial videos like this, head over to our store. We have a new section for premium tutorials right here and we have the Design Academy bundle. This will give you access to all tutorials, courses, ebooks that are coming very soon. So go ahead, check it out. Link is down below. So if we take a look here, I'm just going to hit open. And how I usually have this uh, set up is that um, I will immediately change uh, this to size for transform. I'm going to open the anchor and also properties. And I'm going to reposition the properties up here as you can see and also uh, and also lengthen uh, this frame as you can see let's scroll down okay so basically this plugin is paid i'm not sure how much it costs uh now yeah but i'm not sure i'm supposed to uh check check the price but let me show you guys how i go about uh, using this for creating uis so first of all with transform uh with this thing up here transform if we click on, let's say this uh, navigation frame, you can see the size values are in scale. So if we hit offset, for example, this will convert the values into offset. So now we can go ahead and do stuff like, um, you know, make this taller. For example, the buttons are scaled, so so they're going to scale accordingly. Unless we go in here, and we also go offset. So now you can see they no longer scale according to this frame. Okay, next we have remove background. I use this so much um, because it's literally <laughs> one click to hide the background. So that comes uh, really handy because if not, you would have to be, you know, typing this every single time, which is quite inefficient. I really like having this. Also fit parent. It's also very useful. Uh, obviously, the anchor point is uh, wrong. We go 0.5 and 0.5, for example, no anchor. And you can see uh, how this works. Now, right here, we also have colors and gradients. So here, we could um, define some gradients of our own. We can add some extra color steps. As you can see right here, we can apply. And also, if you take a look right here, uh, there is an option. Oops. And if we go over here, you can see this option, which basically allows you to scale with a UI aspect ratio constraint. Let's uh, scale these again. I forgot to change it back. Anyways, if we change our screen size, you can see how it maintains the same aspect ratio. If I was to move it uh, like this, and you can see now it will adjust based on the uh, screens aspect ratio as you can see so that is pretty cool also if you uh, take a look here I have a grid right with a cell size property and right here we could actually change this to cell size so I could go offset so change and then I could go back to scale as you can see so offset this grid is not going to be scaled but if I go ahead and hit scale now you can see it functions uh, properly. All right, that is basically it. This is a really quick video on the plugin that I use the most for my Roblox design work. Yes, this plugin is paid. I'm not sure what the price is at now, but the thing is, if you are looking for quality tools uh, to streamline your workflow, they are going to be investments which you will have to make. So. Although there are some free uh, options as well. Yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Check out our store and I will see you next time.